So I'm in Ibiza. Welcome back to my YouTube video. Sorry if I've got a sooner. Um, I haven't even picked up the camera at all. PR something. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. TRS. What the hell? I'm sorry, I need to up my game a little bit. What camera is that? Um, it's a Sony camera. Uh, the model, I don't look actually everyone. know. It's like a Transformers, look, it goes. Yeah, literally, that is some crazy camera. That is literally some crazy camera. Everyone's staring at us. I don't know if they've ever seen a vlogger in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, David Adam Brooks. Brooks. And here we see a vlogger in, in the wild. wild. Yeah, I will keep you posted on what we get up to today. I'm here with Sheen. Sorry, this beginning of this video is all over the gaff. I just didn't have time to do it this morning. I was so tired. I was just like, what time is your flight? Well, to be fair, it could have been definitely earlier. It was at 8:30. <laughs> okay, I'm literally all over the gaff. We're just getting our little tan on. So, see you guys later. Yeah! Who wants my tequila shot? <laughs> I love it. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. my cheese. Guys, so we are. Well, that is quesadillas, two portions of uh, chips, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Can you give us a taste test? <laughs> oh, is that medium well? Mm -hmm. uh, that's, no, that's medium well. Burgers. Burgers and three chips. Literally rations. I know. Liv said, Liv said the case is small, and I was like, oh, okay, okay. No, but I, I said, no. I wasn't joking. No, she I was actually like, we need like four portions. And you were like, no. No, she actually wasn't joking. That is true. What do you think? You burger. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, is that one more well done? Mm -hmm. Where? We saved the quesadillas for you. Hey guys, so I'm not gonna lie, I got really quite tipsy at the bowl. At the bowl? I'm not in Ditchley, babe, at the pool. So I'm just currently like sobering up, but I'm sobering up slash I'm also drinking. I've got a problem, clearly. I need to go get my makeup bag. Hold on a sec. Right, what I was saying, I got a little bit too drunk at that pool. Lucilla always seems to do that, where she just gets slightly too excited. <laughs> I sound like I'm literally like a child. Yeah, so I slight, obviously got slightly too excited. I got slightly too drunk. Not like, I mean, I'd be way worse before in my life, like back in the days when I was literally like 18 years old. But I was quite like, you know, I could string a sentence together, but I was slightly tipsy. I'm talking like I'm completely sober right now, and definitely not. But at least I could do my makeup and sort of get the routine correct, you know what I mean? But yeah, we've got to the hotel. I'm so sorry I started this video, like, all over the gaff. I started it, obviously, at the pool, and to be honest, I thought I was going to start it before, but I've just literally been non-stop. Also... Recently, I got micro a microneedling session done again, like another one. And this one in particular, the healing process of it is really delayed. So I got microneedling. So when, what day is it now? Okay, so it's Thursday. I got microneedling done on the 27th. Okay, so I got it done a week ago and I'm still peeling. Usually by this point, I would have stopped peeling by now and I feel like I'm still peeling still going strong it's sort of this area it was bad this morning and i feel like it's getting better just goes to show that it really is working laura actually went one centimeter deep this time that she did microneedling and that isn't like just microneedling that is she said usually she does 0 0.5 and for like cosmetics it's 0 0.5 but she said because i'm doing it on your blemishes she, that's medical like my healing i don't know whether i'm literally just making this up i'm pretty sure she said that and i don't think we've ever gone one centimeter deep before i mean the first time she ever did it if she went one centimeter deep with the needle game over like genuinely with even with 0 0.5 i was dying the first time so this is just a pre warning if you are getting microneedling, the first time is literally so bad. I burnt myself a little bit and you can sort of see it through the foundation, but I actually quite like that in the summer. And then have a drink, so wait. We're going to SDK tonight. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. Depends really on the vibe. I sort of feel like wearing like 
trousers or like a midi dress, like a mini, a maxi dress. But I'll see how I feel. I've got my hair in my eye and I'm, my eyes are going to start watering in a sec. Oh, and now my eyes are going bright red. She a betty, she knows she a 10. She a betty with her betty friend. Sometimes I think when I literally just whack my makeup together and I just really wing it, it does go well, so. I've, I've really messed this up, like. Sometimes if I like disperse it on my hand and just sort of like go across it. What have I done? What have I actually done? Oh, Lisa can you not just do your makeup sober? Do you know what I mean? We're getting there. We're getting there. I, I do feel like I need a little bit more concealer. I'm gonna go in with this. This is why I'm not good at makeup because I just use the same brush. Can I have some I'm hungry for the power. It will have to do, donkey. It will have to do. This is definitely a drunk. Get ready with me. Oh yeah, I, I am definitely so peeling. I'm hungry for the power. I'm not gonna lie, these rollers are really getting in the way. Some of us might go out tonight, but the thing is we're going to SUK and then tomorrow we're going to Ocean Beach. And I just feel like, will we be too tired? Oh my God, do you guys remember like champagne pop days where that highlighter was insane? Becca highlighters are insane. And apparently they actually went bust or discontinued, I can't remember which one. During lockdown, which is really sad because this eyeshadow is insane. That's good. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, on the way. The 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 never kill nobody. Hello, party never kill nobody. Miss Jack's daughter. Yes, your name? It's going to be better than our fucking. We just asked where you're from, she said, Mom, we're confused. Hey guys, so it's now the next day. Um, it's now Friday the 5th of May. We're going to Ocean Beach today. You know why? I didn't even vlog last night. Are you still drunk? was vlogging. Yeah. No, I actually don't feel normal right now. We went to an after party. Can we just talk about the fact that from Two What To Handle oh. lived there. It was her house. But yeah, we're just going for breakfast now. And I will make sure to pick up the camera a little bit more today because I know how bad I was yesterday. We are currently at breakfast. What do we have? Sausages, baked beans, scrambled egg. I think the scrambled egg needs a bit of a top up. I'm, I'm scared to get a dodgy <laughs> belly before OB. I can't lie. Oh, there's some toasties and stuff. Wow. Oh my god, no. Ham and cheese, toasty. This is unreal. Is that a smoke salmon bagel? What is that? French toast, I think. Oh no, it says. French toast with honey and cinnamon. Guys, this breakfast thing is literally crazy. Look at all of this. Like, what the hell? It's like a proper bakery and it's all for us. So mini croissants, I can't. I feel like a really quench thirsty drink. Like, a, when I'm having yeah. it, I'm like, you know? So that's what I'm gonna have for. God knows where I can find that. Lots of fruit there. Oh, here we go. Oh my God, I'm real. Natural orange, detox, antioxidant, natural orange. I don't like orange, so I'm not gonna do that, but I'm gonna have a detox juice just to sort me out. Taste test. Oh yeah, taste test. I'm not gonna lie, it actually tastes, like someone's put like parsley in there or something. Oh, has it got bits in? No, it's like actual, Herbs. Oh, I don't like this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Is it making you feel better though? Is it doing the job? Yeah. Great. I need everything to make me feel better this morning. That's <laughs> awful. I might have some antioxidants. juice. I think mean, I need all the juice in the world. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I taste it, but it gives taste test. We're in taste test. I like it. You don't think it tastes like parsley? No. I think it tastes like parsley. Oh, it looks nice. Oh. Like demi taste test. It looks like, it smells a bit like tomato, eh? I don't know if it's got like ginger in. Oh. Oh, wait. I don't know now. It's not 
bad actually. No, I'm just telling it's big beach Yeah, oh, is it? I hate Beecho. I'm literally. Guys, by the way, this set is from Izzy Swimwear and she hand makes them. And yeah, she's unreal. This actually does look unreal. So, ladies and gents, I'm going to go take a pic. Oh my god, I left my light downstairs. So. Guy, look like a different. I think it looks better without a bag. Yeah, I left my light downstairs. I need to go get that actually. Yeah, and then I'm gonna go take a pic and then I'm gonna quickly go get changed and redo my hair because I'm not gonna wear this to Ocean Beach. But yeah, I've just been chilling out really, not really doing much. Living the best life. Oh my god, I put something really weird on my story last night when they said going to an after party was a good idea and it was like I was walking down these stairs and these people like bringing up like a canvas painting like and I put some really weird music to it and you know when you wake up and you're like what was actually what was going through my mind when I did that like what why 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 did I think that was a good idea like why did I think that was funny that's not funny you know when you literally just wake up from a night out and you're like oh my god like I need to look at my story that's basically what I did and usually it's actually okay because I don't actually write anything. But no, not last night. I decided to post everything, so that's good. But yeah, I will see you all downstairs. Hey guys. So honestly, I can't even tell you what has been going on. So we went to Ocean Beach yesterday. Don't think I filmed any... Well, I didn't film anything on my camera because I've stopped taking my camera on nights out because I've lost like three cameras now and I can't keep doing it. Like, do you know what I mean? So I've decided... There's a rule for me where I don't take my camera on a night out. And if I want to film for you girls or guys, I will... Oh my God, I've got a hairbrush. I've literally been going on like I've lost the hairbrush and it was in my bag the whole time. That is literally crazy. Anyway, yeah, I... What am I saying? What am I saying? Anyway, I'm not bringing... <gasps> is that real? Yeah. <gasps> what even is that? Oh my God. That, I'm not being funny, that Bottega bag was literally the silliest purchase of my whole entire life. It was literally like so expensive and you can just get fake ones and it's white and it's leather and it's really hard to wash because obviously it's cross cross and the leather's really like soft leather. Anyway, we went out and basically I got way too drunk again. Where did we go? We went to Ocean Beach and then we went to Eden and yeah, came back and now me and Millie have decided we are going to stay and not even just stay a couple of days. I'm literally staying till Wednesday. It's now Saturday. Like I literally don't have enough clothes for that, but I'm going through a lot at the moment and I just think it's a good idea. So there you go. Now I'm just packing because we're actually not staying in this hotel because this hotel is like expensive. so expensive. It's like ridiculous. And there's so many lovelier hotels as well that are literally like much nicer. So there you go. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm going to pack because because I'm vlogging. I'm literally packing with one hand at the moment. <laughs> oh, what is my life? No, I'm really depressed. And I feel like if I think about like what's actually going on in my life, I, I actually can't. I can't even cope. Like, I actually can't cope. It's so fucking, so sad, but it's what it is. These things happen, and Millie gave me a pep talk, and she was like, am I ever going to wear this? <laughs> you can wear that today. This is my Oshawa outfit. Mm, mm, <laughs> yeah, so I just think, let's just keep myself busy, occupied. But I always do feel like when you're going through, like, situations, like, if you stop talking to a guy or, like you're just sad sometimes you've just actually got to like embrace it and like actually realize how sad you are to go over it or you could just do the complete opposite and just stay out in IB and just completely put your feelings to the side oh my god I don't know how long this camera is going to go on for because it's literally been like that for ages but quickly I booked a flight from so we've extended our trip 
and I booked my flight and I told Millie this morning, I was like, I booked my flight and I think I was still drunk. I booked a flight from London to Ibiza instead of Ibiza back to London. So I booked an outwards flight again for no reason. And obviously that's non-refundable. You can change it, but I could have just changed the flight before. I don't know what was actually going through my mind when I did that, so that's good. The person who works in this hotel is really lovely looking. He's <laughs> really lovely looking and he said he's going to ants. I'm literally just filling you in on, on the whole situation, really. That's it. That's my rant over. Right, I'm going to go and put you in charge because I've been the worst, worst vlogger ever. So I'm going to up my game a little bit. But again, I'm not going to take you to ants because I would 100 million, trillion percent leave my camera somewhere. So guys, we are now at the new hotel. We're just checking in. My lashes, this is not vibe. Also... Like that one, they're just so bad and I literally love having full lashes but this hotel looks really nice. We're literally right next to Ocean Beach, like genuinely, around the corner, like we could actually just I step up. we're not up. on like a top floor. Millie's got a thing where she just doesn't go in lifts, like she will literally be like top floor. on top floor and she'll just walk up the stairs. Yeah, I've been going up five set of like set of Yeah, because you've been on floor five, that's not even low. And she's been walking up and down the stairs. Like, I'm not even joking you. Yeah. Did you? What did I do? Get the lift. I don't know what you've done because I left you because you were on the phone. Oh. But I knew you were safe because you are in the hotel. Yeah. I was safe. I'm amazed. I think her. It's my birthday. It's your birthday. We had a bit of a crazy night last night, didn't we? Yeah. We had, yeah, a bit of a chill. A bit of a chill? No, we definitely did not have chilled. My mind is just not with it today. We had a bit of a crazy one. It was all a bit mad, and now I'm having a nice cup of tea and Anna Mae's opening her birthday present. How unreal does this look? And Amaze Mum's just done. It's unbelievable. I don't think I've ever had a breakfast like this before. Wow. I know. It's go, go, go in this one. It's literally go, go, go. Yesterday we literally took it too far and we were singing to 21. Can you do some for me? And WAP. That's the two songs we were listening to. And now I've woken up to a lovely breakfast. I've washed my hair Hi as well. Guys. So guys, we, bouncing about, we are gonna go on a hot girl walk for Anime's birthday. Gonna get some ice cream, woo! I was sat outside and I got the best tan line ever. Like, guys, look. look I'm at, <laughs> just look slightly burnt, but like, I actually caught a tan. So, well, the summer to go on a summer holiday, 100%. Okay, let's listen to birthday songs. Okay. Oh, baby, a triple. Guys, we're talking oh, no, about good. our types of boys, like what we're into. I've really bought, I actually feel like my mouth is just like so dry right now. Basically, before I even start, we're on a hot girl walk and it is in a pair of stunning. joggers. Lucinda didn't bring any clothes. I literally didn't bring any clothes. I bought this massive suitcase and it looks like I've bought loads of clothes from the outside. Then when you open it, there's literally like three dresses in there, like literally nothing. But to be fair, I thought I was going to be here for like one night. Plans kept changing. But anyway, anime's type is like a proper F boy. Like, I don't know the vibes. It is. It is. Who's my type? Like that look. Yeah, but not all of it is. Some of them are quite nice looking, do you know what I mean? Like, sweet looking. We were sending this boy, boy boys boy notes. And, um... <laughs> and there's just us singing in the background. And it's like, whap. Oh my God, imagine living in one of these houses. You should live here. 
I just can't see myself living in Wales. I don't know anyone apart from you. Do you know what I mean? Then that's when you get to know, don't you? Before you live to Brighton. You Why don't you move there. to Brighton? Look at all these houses. So there's houses here. Obviously this is now like, I don't know what's going on. Why is this green stuff here? I don't know. Then there's this view. But the view is just stunning. But yeah, that's my town. It's actually doing. really nice, isn't it? Yeah. I tried you to do one. One what one was this? I love one day sand. The golden one though, so it goes on and then it's like clear. Then when you wash it off, it's like colour. Yeah, I love one day sand. It's lovely. But the only thing is, it's quite sticky. Is it? Yeah, I find it's quite sticky. I need to try that one. She's so cute. <laughs> Guys, how cute is our hat? so cute so Anna Mae went to go get her hair done and then I was just sat there and then the girl was like well I'm finishing after this so do you just want to get your hair done as well I was like uh, absolutely so I'm absolutely obsessed but we've just come back now so guys it's now much later on in the day and I'm all ready I'm wearing an old poly two-piece maybe our bag why am I speaking like that and some gold hills I need to go downstairs because Anna Mae's already down there. I'm running late. Hey, so this is Anna Mae's little hotel. Morning, guys. I am feeling so, so hungover. I'm trying to find my lead for my camera. I actually, I think I'll look back at this footage and be like, was she okay? Because I'm definitely, definitely, Definitely not okay. I'll tell you that for free. I think I'm so drunk. But yeah, we had such a good night last night. I'm just packing up. There's train strikes today, but there is a train. Although it will take me six hours, there still is a train. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I'm amazing in the shower for me, shampoo and conditioner. But yeah, we had such a good night. Now. I'm going to travel all the way back home. So I'm going to bring you all because why not? I just thought, come with me for a hungover trip back home. Guys, I am so close to being home. I can smell my front door. I've been traveling for about five hours now all on my Saturday but at least I came for Anna Mae's birthday but it's been a very very long day of just travelling I'm so hungover I'm pretty sure the last clip was me just really drunk still just had some sushi I don't know what it is with me having sushi when I'm hungover it's a bit weird because it's, because it's like raw fish I'm not raw but you know what I mean I was technically raw actually it's a bit of a weird type of food to have when you're hungover yeah I don't feel I actually really, 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 really don't feel that great. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go out with my friend Brooke tonight though. <laughs> Lol. Me telling you I don't feel great, but I'm gonna go out. But it's like Saturday and it's like, I sort of want to. Even this train, I can't believe I did this by the way, because there was train strikes all day. And somehow, somehow I've got from Swansea to Brighton. Well, nearly, not there yet, but nearly to Brighton. Like, how have I done that on a day with train strikes? There was like one train like every hour and I've had to change like a million times, but I've made it, do you know what I mean? Usually this train would go straight to Brighton, but no, I have to get off at a place called Hayward's Heath and change. So little stuff like that, like you wouldn't do that if it was a train strike day, but like, oh my God, this train from um, Swansea to Cardiff to then go home again. I wouldn't have to do that if there wasn't train strikes. But, oh my God, this train, it was, I've never known anything like it before. So it was like 20 minutes delayed, um, which was fine, because obviously it's gonna be delayed because there's only like one train every like whatever, and they'll probably get like caught up, do you know what I mean? The doors opened and there were people like pouring out of this train like as in like this woman literally was standing by the door and she was like no one can come in it's completely full like the train is completely full and i was like oh my god and the, the man working on the platform was shouting on the microphone thing going 
if you can't get on this train you won't be able to go so you've got to try and squeeze in and i was like what on earth is going on i made it on the train but i spent the whole like as in i literally you know in a concert where like if you're standing and you're like at the front of the concert or like a festival and it's like hot but it's like body heat that was it and like that made me think it was really sunny outside which it is like don't get me wrong it's literally blue skies but like you can wear a jumper but i thought it was going to be like 35 degrees when i got off that train because i thought it wasn't the body heat i thought it was actually just outside being hot i'm really just rambling on to be honest but anyway so that train journey was eventful to say the least to be honest everyone was just like completely crowded and that went on for like half 40 minutes just like stood there and then cardiff to london that was actually fine i can't believe i've done that to be honest that is a very very long train and then i've just gone from paddington and i got the underground to victoria and then i went i've come from victoria to Havers heath and i want to go Havers heath to brighton so honestly it's been a very very long day of traveling and i'm going to take well i didn't take you along with me last night with Anna May because i've lost way too many cameras now funny that though i did um find my old camera that i thought i lost in the uh, cinema but see i didn't lose it because i found it in a drawer somewhere so now i've got two cameras but i have also lost another one and that's definitely not coming back because that was from the night out with club l london glizzo in manchester and that is a long gone